Good morning, Mu'ayi Abutai Bezal Hashem. Minha is going to be 6.30, please be on time, and Sidi Hot is 5.50. The discussion we had yesterday about Mevater Kri Mechano, when a person takes a vessel and he wants to put Muktzeh into the vessel, on top of the vessel, you're not allowed to do that on Shabbat, aside from the lifting of the Muktzeh, but even just moving the vessel under the Muktzeh and having the Muktzeh fall into it would be Asul because you are nullifying the instrument for that Shabbat. Hacham Ovadiyah has a very interesting limitation. He says if the item of muktzeh, uh, like for example something like shells, where when it's on the egg, it's not muktzeh, right? Of course, when you peel it, the shells actually become muktzeh because it's not practically usable for anything. Nobody uses shells, even animals, they don't eat uh, eggshells. So to have eggshells and to put it on top of a plate or inside a plate, seems to uh, seemingly is a problem because you're being mevatel kri mechano. You're taking something that's muktzeh and you're putting it into something that's not muktzeh, thereby essentially nullifying the usage of that instrument. However, Hacham Vadya writes that whenever the, the muktzeh item is something that is so insignificant, it's not even something you would pay pennies for. It's so insignificant. And your whole point of putting it in is of a temporary nature, not of a permanent nature. I'm planning to put it into a plate, and then I'm going to take the plate, I'm going to throw it. So then it does not become a bitul kri mechano. It's not a violation of being mevatel kri mechana, which means that a person would be allowed to take bones or to take shells um, once he's eating, in the middle of eating and in the middle of peeling, and put it into a plate, and that plate will not become nullified, and it's not a violation of the concept of bitul kri mechano. Only when the thing is, the matter is significant, like even drops of oil, since they're significant, it would be called bitur kri mechano. Or we were learning before about the air conditioner that was leaking, and we said the water that leaks from the air conditioner is muktzeh, and you want to put something underneath it in order to catch the water, that would be a violation of bitur kri mechano, because that's something that's significant. And, uh, and, you're, and you're intending for uh, more permanent, you're intending it for the whole day as opposed to for a few minutes. Uh, like in the case of the shells. So therefore, in the shell case and the and the bone case, those things would be mutal to do on Shabbat, and it would not be a violation of bitur kri mechano. But it is important to understand that's only because it's at the time of the peeling, meaning you're not allowed to carry bones that are not edible for humans or, or animals. You're not allowed to carry them and handle them. And same thing with shells, you're not allowed to carry them and handle them. But once you're peeling them, it's mutal to peel. I'm allowed to put it down into a bowl or a plate in such a fashion. Baruch Adonai Le'olam, Amen ve'amen.